see my son. All right. Um. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Today is one of those spur of the moment video type videos. I don't really have any notes or anything. This is just coming from the top of my head. I honestly just wanted to make a video where you guys could get to know me a little bit better. Um, I started getting some new followers and some new subscribers that I've never met in my life. And shout out to the family and friends that are that have been liking my videos, subscribe to my channel, sharing my videos. I really adore you guys. Um, I've been praying like a couple years about this channel and just getting in front of the camera and talking to you guys. Everything that I tell you guys is from personal experience and just my life. None of it is made up. And you even may hear my son in the background. I wanted to show him off today. <laughs> I'm laughing because he's just everywhere. You just hear his little footsteps. Come here, buddy. I want to introduce you. Come here. Come say hi. Huh? <laughs> say hi. Tell everybody how old you are. How old are you? How old are you? Huh? You won? Woo! Majesty is won. So this is my son, Majesty, and all of his loveliness. Yeah, let's just start from the beginning. Um, I was born in Greenville, South Carolina, hence the little country twang that you hear. I know some of my words, y'all probably like, what? It's about two hours away from Charlotte, where I attended school. Um, but going back to my childhood, <laughs> my household wasn't perfect, but I lived with both my parents. Um, they did the best they could do as far as taking care of us. We had a really good childhood, other than the fact that my parents would argue a lot. And if I'm squinting a lot, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm outside. We're gonna be filming outside as long as the weather permits us. It's just, it's super nice in California. But anyways, I have five sisters. We all have A names. I'm the only one that go by my middle name. Um, but yeah, let me name all my sisters. Let me shout them out. They get on my nerves, but I'm gonna shout them out anyway. In order, Althea, Allison, Alvina, myself, Ashley, Aaliyah, and Amber. And I love my sisters to death. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with as far as like my family. I don't wanna go too deep in it. I'll be talking forever about them. Um, after high school, I went to Johnson C. Smith University. It was really dope. Uh, I met a lot of people, a lot of lifelong friends that I consider family now. And I want to shout out a few. <laughs> I want to shout out a few. Um, Passion, my son's, one of my son's god moms. Love her dearly. Alexenia, aka Allie. Um, another sister, one of my best friends. My son considered her as an aunt. And um, yeah, check out her website also, The Poets List. It's pretty dope. And she also has merchandise on sale. And um, Ebony, who I call Eb, my son's second godmother. Love her to death. She stays in Maryland. Um, I met my husband, Yamani, a.k.a. Cali. <laughs> He's dancing right now. <laughs> um, I met him there. Y'all, that's a funny story how we met, too. <laughs> oh, God, should I tell it? I'm going to tell it. So um, we met in a um, in aqua fitness, this class where we had where we exercise in the pool. And I never knew this guy, but our professor came up with some kind of project and paired us together for this project. And that's how we became friends. And we were, we remained cool. Um, 
kept in contact with each other on Facebook um, throughout like summer breaks and stuff like that. And even when I became a college dropout, we still remained cool. We did our own things. He had his own relationships. I had my own. And then one year I came back to school while he was working at JCSU and we reconnected and then that's history. Like we became really good friends and then ended up marrying each other and having this beautiful little boy. Upon dropping out of college for the second time, <laughs> I struggled with a lot of, um, I guess you would say self-identity issues. Just trying to find myself, like what I actually wanted to do in life and all of that. Then we ended up pregnant and that put a pause on a lot of things that I wanted to do just because I was mainly like really, really sick the first half of my pregnancy um, with hormones and all of that. Ladies, you know how it is. Men, if you were there for you ladies, you know how it was. So... I wish y'all could see him running down the sidewalk. <laughs> okay, so after um, my son, which was a very easy birth, I was in labor for like 28 hours. The contractions was out of this world. It's something that I can't even explain. Like, it was out of this world. But I did it. Um... While pushing him, he actually got stuck to my uh, pelvic bone. So when he came out, from what my husband told me, I don't remember even hearing him crying when he came out. So when he told me, he said that Majesty wasn't breathing. And the nurses and the doctors had to do what they did to revive him, along with the help of God, because Jesus. I do remember laying down, I'm just like, why do I not hear my son crying and the doctors were sewing me up after that they brought him over to me and I was able to hold him and it was like the best thing in life like after they brought our son over I felt very accomplished I felt like a superwoman we lived in Charlotte for some years and we decided to bring Majesty over to Sacramento, California, where my husband's family live. And we wanted all of his family to meet Majesty and love on him. <laughs> because as you can hear, he's a very lovable person. So just being here for the second time, I just honestly fell in love with Sacramento. And I convinced my husband to move back to California and that's where we're here now we if you watch my second video I talked about how we moved from North Carolina to California and we did it all on our own we packed up a budget truck and we drove across country and that was an experience upon moving to California um, I really got more comfortable with myself, to be honest, and I know that probably sounds weird, but like, as I'm getting older, I'm getting more comfortable with who Alvina Leslie Smith Morell is. And like I said, I've been praying on doing this like vlog. I just really like stepped out on, on faith and like hope and I prayed a lot for God to like give me ideas. I honestly was fighting um, a really bad chatterbox about not starting a vlog series. I battled thoughts like people would think I'm weird and I ain't gonna have nothing to talk about. People gonna pick on the way I talk and all kind of negative thoughts, but all, all the positive thoughts trump the negative because God gave me so many ideas to like spill in front of you guys and I can't wait to share everything and um my husband and I we worked so hard on just 
trying to find the perfect time to work together because he's been wanting to work with me for the longest since Charlotte, North Carolina. And I always was just like pushing it to the side, like, nah, I don't think I can do it. I don't want to do it. I'm a first time mom. A lot of things just was were trying to stop my purpose and my dreams and all kind of stuff. And so, Majesty. Enough. No. Stop that. Stop that. Do not stop. Anyways, my neighbor's coming up here. Um. <laughs> During the winter? Yeah. It was like two minutes. We had to figure out like a good schedule that worked for the both of us. And we finally oh. figured some things out. And oh, okay. now. <laughs> now we work together and um i really love it he takes time okay. out to help me with editing and recording and stuff like that and i really appreciate him and i love him <laughs> i didn't want to touch on this subject i know it has a lot to do with why i didn't want to get in front of the camera also postpartum is real i don't think it was like a really bad depression for myself but i know it i know postpartum did a lot of um i don't know i don't want to say damage but it did a lot of negative things in my marriage so and it did a lot of negative things to me and my mind it just it made me feel like I wasn't worthy. Like it, I always felt like I wasn't a good mom. And I just wanna say this as a sidebar. If you're a first time mom, even if you're a second, third, fourth, fifth time, fifth time mom, and postpartum depression, it can attack at, with every child. So you're more than enough and you're doing a great job. And those are the things that I had to keep telling myself to help me and, um, if raising my child along with my husband's help has gotten a lot better when I keep telling myself those um, positive affirmations. Um, you got to look yourself in the mirror and you got to believe it. Um, a lot of my friends are asking me, how do you start a YouTube channel and all of this stuff? Like I'm a professional, y'all, I'm not a professional. You guys should see me right before I'm on the camera like I'm not a professional like I literally was praying on this and I stepped out and then I just started doing it so just do it I'm rambling if you want to know anything else about me feel free to ask questions people reaching out to me asking me all these questions y'all making me feel special Woo! so yeah ask me questions feel free um i may not answer all of them depending on the type of question it is like don't get crazy and this is gonna be part one because now i found out that i'm not really good at just talking outside of off the top of my head um unless i'm talking to my husband and talking his head off so <laughs> i'm gonna wrap this video up and this is gonna be part one i'm gonna talk to y'all later peace out one love subscribe to my channel for real like this video later mm -hmm.